I'm joined by Stuart Thompson, International Fixed Income Fund Manager for Ignis Asset Management. Good to talk to you again, Stuart. Thanks very much indeed for speaking to us. I just want to start with a very basic question. Will spreads for those troubled countries on the periphery of Europe continue to widen? Yes. To, uh, undoubtedly, we expect further widening in the first quarter of uh, 2011. And we've seen austerity measures now in Ireland, Portugal, Spain. Of course, you know, this will still take time to, you know, for us to really see the effect it'll have. But nevertheless, national governments are taking action to bring spending under control. Why are investors still so worried? Well, to quote Winston Churchill, trying to tax your way to prosperity is like standing in a bucket and trying to pull yourself up by the handle. It is extremely difficult um, with the competitive issues required to compete with Germany, you're essentially creating debt deflation in these economies. And uh, that is extremely destabilizing. We believe that the solution is debt devaluation, in other words, debt restructuring in the absence of currency devaluation. So who's next? Mm. Sorry, Stuart, let me, let me rephrase that. We've already, we've already seen Ireland go the way of Greece. You've talked about Portugal in the past. I think you said that Portugal uh, will apply for a bailout, what, in early 2011, is that right? Yes, yeah, so we expect Portugal and Spain to apply for bailout funds. Uh, investors are looking beyond Portugal to Spain because of the interconnection between the two economies and the high level uh, of debts within Spain itself. Spanish debt, both financial uh, and government debt, is over 200% of GDP. That requires a restructuring sometime down the line, but more, more immediately it requires a bailout from the centre. How concerned are you about the region's highest rated borrowers? We're now getting reports that France risks losing its AAA grade. Well, we don't consider France to be a AAA country. Uh, it's uh, not going to devalue, it's not going to see a debt restructuring, but it's certainly not AAA. And uh, it's showing the gap, uh, performance gap, with uh, Germany this year, and that gap is expected to widen next year. And given the choice between the new European financial stability bonds and French bonds, I believe investors are going to take the former first. Good to talk to you, Stuart Thompson, uh, Fixed Income Fund Manager of Ignis Asset Management. Thanks very much for your time.